Hey, Zumbo here. I'm going to help you through the steps to mastering my insanely delicious Nutty Professor Choc Espresso Cake. You'll need about 20 minutes for prepping. So let's get started. Okay, so for the cake, we need a 20 centimeter springform cake pan, mixing bowls, three eggs, half a cup of milk, three tablespoons of soft butter, and a bit more for extra greasing. For the filling, you'll need just a tablespoon of milk and three tablespoons of butter. And finally, for that delicious espresso glaze, three tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of soft butter. The first step is to preheat your oven to 170 degrees for conventional or 150 degrees for fan forced. In a mixing bowl, place the cake mix, eggs, milk and soft butter. Let's get mixing. First, make sure your pan is generously greased and the base is lined with baking paper. Using an electric mixer, mix on a low speed until the ingredients are combined. Then mix on medium speed for two minutes. You can also do this on your Kenwood benchtop mixer. Pour the batter into the pan. Tap the pan to ensure the batter is flat and no air bubbles are present. Then into the oven. Once baked, remove from the oven and allow to cool in the pan for 10 minutes prior to cooling on a rack. Using a large serrated knife, slice horizontally to make two even layers. My tip, cut the cake at eye level and turn the plate as you're cutting. If you have a cake stand, that'll help too. Another way to cut the cake is if you have a wire, which helps you to cut evenly. Measure three quarters of a cup of icing mix and place it into the bowl with 20 mils of milk and 60 grams of soft butter. Mix on a low speed until the ingredients are combined. Then mix on medium speed for two minutes or until the filling is light and creamy. Spread the mixture to cover the bottom layer of the cake then sandwich the two layers together. Place the remaining icing mix and water into a plastic microwave bowl and heat on high for 20 seconds. Then stir with a wooden spoon and add 20 grams of soft butter and mix until combined. In the meantime, grab the hazelnuts and place them in a bowl to have them ready to add after the glazing. Microwave on high for a further 15 seconds and immediately pour over the top of the cake. Using a palette knife, quickly spread the glaze to cover the top and allow it to drizzle down. Then scatter the hazelnuts over the top. And there you have it, your very own cafe style choc espresso cake. Subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking here.